Rockies, Denver, Colorado for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. A moment ago, through a shower of pyrotechnics, it was the hometown Broncos taking the field as they get set to do battle with the Kansas City Chiefs. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. On first down, Keenum. And he will find his man for the first time, Demarius Thomas. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking deep for Demarius. This is caught inside the 15. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Demarius Thomas, 61 yards. And the Broncos have taken the early lead. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes the score 7-0. McManus on to kick this one off. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Three, 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 nine. Three, three, nine. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Domitov Pecco, the one to get him down. Speaking of Kareem Hunt, his opener against L.A. this year, a little bit quieter than his opener last year against New England when he <laughs> burst onto the scenes with 246 yards of total offense and three scores. But still, you're going to have to deal with Kareem Hunt all year if you're trying to contain this KC offense. Yeah, he's a little more modest rushing total, 49 yards and 16 carries. Result was the same, though. An excellent road win. And you're right about that. You're going to have to keep your eyes on Kareem Hunt and game plan for him. Because if you don't, he'll shred you running the football and catching out of the backfield. But his presence opened things up for Tyreek Hill, didn't it? By the way, Tyreek Hill, what a game in the opener. Seven catches, 169 yards, two touchdowns. Is it possible that he's the most dangerous player in the NFL right now? And, you know, and, and I know we talk about a number of guys. His name does come up. But does it come up as consistently as it should? No. And we saw that on Sunday. You just mentioned the numbers. Don't forget, he also had a 91-yard punt return. I was just going to say touchdown. that. I left that out. This is this guy. When we talk about home run hitters, you've got to list him near the top of the list. He has 13 touchdowns now in his career of 50 or more yards. Okay? That's nine more than any other player since he entered the league in 2016. Pretty impressive. Play fake there to Hunt. Now Mahomes. And that is incomplete here. Kelsey, the intended receiver there, and it's third down. I think he's a little 
Trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here we go now. Blue 45. <laughs> Working from the gun, Mahomes. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Broncos coming hard, and it's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. And they're going to be set up in a good spot, first and 10 at the 14-yard line. But we say it all the time, offense, defense, don't forget about special teams. Big punt block there. And how many coaches have told us if we make a big play on special teams, if we find a way to score, whether it's on the play or later, 90-plus percent of the time we win the game. Just don't hold them to those numbers. No, so. we haven't quantified it yet, but they believe it, and we have seen it happen many, many times in just that manner. Freeman, the lone man in the backfield. He'll get the football here. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Partners, we well know long kickoff returns set up big-time momentum for the team with the ball. But how about the defense? They've gone on the field, understood the situation, and really have held up strong. They'll look to run with Freeman. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Now that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. Get it up the middle. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. A great effort there. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Broncos will add on to their lead. We well, got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space. But how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. McManus on to kick this one off. And as we see so frequently here in Colorado, that one over the inline, so it'll come out to the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Tackled by Bradley Chubb, the number five pick in the 2018 draft. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Mahomes now to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. 
They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Green, green, 90. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he's got some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. First down is Mahomes. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 47. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's gonna set up third and nine. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz, stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this is caught by Watkins. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Mahomes to the former Ram, Sammy Watkins for the Kansas City first. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little now. bit and find our way back into this game. To throw, it's Mahomes. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. Third down here. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on I it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Looking to throw is Mahomes, and able to find Conley. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. A first trip to the red zone for KC. First and 10 at the 19. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here we go now. Three. And again, it's Mahomes. 
And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Well, not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. The Chiefs on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. Now it's Mahomes again. That is caught at the seven. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. He's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at him with the same play, the same set. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Anthony Sherman taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy. The apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Butker now to kick this one away. This one taken from the seven. Oh, fighting off the defender. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Denver's offense here, and you know, with their running backs, you kind of use that acronym that fantasy owners dread, RBBC, running back <laughs> by committee. I think that's what's developing in the Mile High City. Yeah, I think that everyone thought week one, Royce Freeman would carry the load, the rookie out of Oregon, because he had a big preseason, had passed Devontae Booker for the number of carries that he was going to get for the season, which would be considerable. But how about Philip Lindsay, the rookie out of Colorado? Let me repeat this, though. The undrafted rookie out of Colorado, 71 yards on 15 carries, left Colorado as the Buffs career leader in all-purpose yards. They thought he'd be a kick return specialist. Turns out he's going to get a full load in the backfield as well. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. They'll run it now out of the gun. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Four down, four down. Right, right. From the gun, here's Keenum. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, here's Marquette King to punt it away. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, 
It's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. Mahomes going to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. And just one tick to go, so this will obviously be the final play of this first quarter. Here we go. Three. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon as the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. And they've got it here with a first down. Here we go now. Blue 45. <laughs> now Mahomes. And Connolly's got it over the middle. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here we go now. Three, 90. Three, uh, uh, uh. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. The Chiefs on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and eight. Here we go now. Blue 45. <laughs> Throwing now is Mahomes. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Trying to get that one to his tight end. And they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. On for his second punt. And remember, his first one was blocked. Now this Broncos offensive unit ready to head back out onto the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Freeman. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Keenum throwing on second. Throwing right side, that's complete to Marius Thomas. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And on third and three, they decided to go with a dime package. Yeah. Six DBs. Yeah, you're right. They've got six out there. From the gun, it's Keenum. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 26. It's a big play. Keenum to Thomas. 47 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 26-yard line. Working from the gun, Keenum. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. D. Ford. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to go out of bounds, taking it down inside the 25. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards, and it'll be third down. In today's NFL, when you get teams in long yardage situations with your defense, you're really going to go to your speed packages. You're going to get smaller, lighter guys on the field in order to cover the expected pass. So they might want to run the ball against a smaller, lighter lineup with your big guys, and that's exactly what happened on that play. It was tough on them, and now instead of being in third and very long, they ended up setting themselves up in third and manageable. They've got a chance at a first down. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. A shotgun snap for Keenum. And this is going to be incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. So on fourth down, on comes Brandon McManus and the field goal unit for the Broncos. Spotted at the left, hash this from 45. And McManus able to put it through. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So that's a seven play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And out come the Chiefs now. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field. Here we go, that poor punter. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's some guys, there's going to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. No gain on that run. And while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. On second down, here's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First catch on that one for Kelsey, and it's a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. They'll toss it to Hunt. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. But he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. There we go now. Blue 45. Now Hunt. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and four. Three, three, now here's Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. 
Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Mahomes now 10 of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. Here we go. Blue 45. Hot, hot, hot. Mahomes to throw on second down. He's got the hookup with Conley. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue now Mahomes on the bootleg. Blitz coming and down he goes. Adam Gatsis coming in to drop it for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. And did he have enough? He did. He kept it on line and managed to tuck it into the bottom right corner. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. The exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. A CD looking back to last week, one interesting thing certainly was that tie between Pittsburgh and Cleveland. You know, that was the first week one tie since 1971. Yeah, I think our research told us that the Broncos and Dolphins tied 10 to 10. And remember, overtime was instituted by the NFL starting with the 1974 season. So this is unbelievable, those two teams tied. Cleveland was plus five in turnover margin had their chances, and got a field goal blocked down the stretch that would have won the game. Yeah, Pittsburgh had a field goal late in OT2, and they missed it wide left. The Broncos on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Out of the gun, Keenum. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it, and now it's fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Fielded at the 20. A uh, very good return that time. 18 yards, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game 
are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they've got to make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Well, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Now we go now. Green, 90. Green, 90. Right Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, and that'll make it third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. It was Darian Stewart that time who was able to knock the pass away. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage. It was way too tight, unable to find anyone open. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. And coming out now, the Broncos. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Here's Keenan. He's got it. The tight end, Jeff Hireman. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Keenum now, 6 of 10 in this first half. He's got his guys a first down here. Shotgun snap for Keenum. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. Uh, switching gears for a second, because you and I were talking earlier. We had some odd games in week one. I don't think anything, though, takes the cake quite like that game in Miami. How about that lightning delay? Multiple lightning delays. Yeah, when you open up the season in the state of Florida and it's not a dome, good luck. You've got a chance of this <laughs> happening, right? It happened in Tampa a couple of seasons ago, maybe a couple of times if I remember correctly. This game wound up taking seven hours and eight minutes to finish when all was said and done. Normally, we do a game in three and a half or less. That's unbelievable. So great stamina for the fans, great stamina for the players. And how about our colleagues in the announce booth? Ooh. Great stamina for them yeah, as well. Indeed. Longest game in NFL history. The Broncos on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. Now Keenum. He finds some open field here. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. Stop him right on the midfield strike. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. 
They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. penetration here he'll get this down only to about the 49 yard line and before they can run this third down play we're going to get a timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half The Broncos on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Keenum now to throw. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not gonna have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there, that brings up fourth. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary, incomplete pass. When are these quarterbacks going to learn? You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. But quite a few teams this past week in the NFL were playing with new quarterbacks, guys that have been in the league but in a new uniform. And they had quite a bit of success. You noted some of them. Who'd you have down? It was really incredible success when you think about it. Kirk Cousins in Minnesota won. Case Keenum Three. in Denver won. Three, Alex Smith with Washington won at Arizona. Pat Mahomes, he started one game last year. It was really a throwaway. His true debut on the road against the Chargers wins. And Tyrod, Tyrod, whichever way he However. wants it pronounced, got a tie with Cleveland. How about special category? Brian Tannehill back with the Dolphins. He wins in their home game against Tennessee. And fear the beard. Ryan Fitzpatrick, what a monster performance on the road, beating New Orleans with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And if you guys were worried, Brady and Rodgers, still pretty good. Yes. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Ready. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes to the sideline. And wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Here we go. Blue 45. <laughs> on third down. It's Hunt, and the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36 yard line. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. 
as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. They'll send this away into the Rocky Mountain night, and it's a good one. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And yeah, nice yardage right off the bat here as he's up to about the 24-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So we're at halftime here in Denver with the Broncos leading this one. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Broncos with a lead and they will be receiving this kickoff here as quarter three is underway. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This will be third and five. Three, three, uh, Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. Brandon Marshall, the linebacker, able to make the play defensively. They're a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. He's going to slink, try to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ron Parker, and he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. He was trying to hit Thomas that time. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight yeah, spot, out. and if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Throw left side taken in by Hill, and he's brought down. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Here we go now. They'll run. This is high. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. 
Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and they're going to have a third down. I saw Von Miller in college at Texas A&M, and all I kept hearing about was his speed off the edge to the quarterback. But what impressed me, his balance and his ability to take on blocks and be a force in the run game, as we just saw there. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. There he goes, right side. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. From the gun, here's Keenum. He's going to go for a big play down, and that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Cortland Sutton, 30 yards. And the Broncos use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Now McManus on to kick this one off. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. Rams will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Hey, here we go. <laughs> they go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And it's incomplete. The veteran Adam Jones there on the coverage. Well, partner, of all the great things that we saw in week one, unfortunately there was some bad, quite a few injuries. And the toughest one, Delaney Walker with that knee injury, he's gone for the year. Yeah, and that's really, really difficult for the Tennessee Titans to absorb because in a lot of ways, he's their number one target. He may play tight end, but he was the security blanket for Marcus Mariota. He'll be gone for the year. Greg Olson with the Carolina Panthers, he left the game in a walking boot but an injury of the same foot that was surgically repaired last year. And then there's some other injuries like Leonard Fournette with Jacksonville, Marquise Goodwin with San Francisco, Deshaun Jackson with Tampa Bay, Doug Baldwin with Seattle, and don't forget Keanu Neal mm. with the Atlanta Falcons. He got hurt, came back, left again. He's gone for the season as well with an ACL. Here we go. Ah! Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Able to find him complete and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line an 11 yard pickup and it's enough for a Chiefs first down Mahomes now five straight completions here in this second half first and ten Mahomes now to throw and he'll with it over the middle and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last.
last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Here's Mahomes to throw. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. So they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. This is high. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Throwing on second down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. It was a solid check down there with pressure coming, wasn't it? It was because you're trying to go through your progression. And when you have that type of pressure in your face, it changes what you're doing and how fast you have to do your reads and able to come back and find him in open space. That's a really nice play. Now Mahomes. This is caught. Watkins. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard, your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Chris Conley, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Butker now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They'll try to get the ground game going with Freeman. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll take this up just shy of the 40. Excellent display of footwork on that run. It's a six-yard run, leaves them with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Keenum finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. 
It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Keenum now just 8 of 16 thus far, 50%, but it's first and 10. To throw, it's Keenum. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and 10. the play fake Keenum and he just throws this one away smart decision here this close to the end zone and it brings up second down I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one but that's the exact right throw either your receiver gets it or no one gets it give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it got rid of it no one got it an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten They'll run it now, out of the gun. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Throwing his Keenum on third down. And that is incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This will be a 34-yard attempt. And McManus able to put it through. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point's not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Green, 90. Green, 90. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Ah, oh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. They run again with Hunt. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. 
His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. And Denver getting set to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's yeah. just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Welcome back now to Denver. It's Bronco football, and they also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Working from the gun, Keenum. And he hits his target, Deshaun Hamilton. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Here we go now. Green, 90. Up. Mahomes going to throw. And his pass incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. To throw, it's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll go down at the 28. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And the kick by Butker is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Broncos' offense, they get set to head back onto the field. Now, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So, in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. All that, and it only nets him a yard. It's second down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now a handoff. It's Freeman, and he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. The Broncos on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This time they face a third and two. 
Now it's Keenum here off the bootleg. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that, wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That first down run could not have turned out worse for a defense because when they came out on the field, their number one mission, keep them stacked up close to their goal line, and at worst, create great field position for their offense. They'll run again with Hunt, and he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. First down, Mahomes. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll make it a second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Mahomes to throw on second down. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver on first and ten, here's Mahomes. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Mahomes will bring him up first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. From midfield, here's Mahomes. He's going to air one out. That's caught inside the 20. And he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play there, Mahomes to Watkins. 48 yards. Usually hitting a deep post pattern, as we just saw there for a big gainer, that's tough to do because you usually have a safety or two in the middle of the field. But if you hit enough crossers and underneath routes and curls, you start to get those guys creeping up, wanting to make plays on the football. It's the equivalent of a changeup in baseball. You show your other stuff, throw the changeup. And he's going to bowl his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And now a critical extra point attempt here. No 
Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They go play action here on first down. Left side here to Sanders. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Now a play fake, and it's Keenum. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. D Ford in there to get him for his second sack of the night. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. The Broncos on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This will be a tough third and 18. Out of the gun, Keenum. Got a man, he finds Sanders. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Keenum now on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Allen Bailey in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations, because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. <laughs> Now Keenum throwing on second. And that's complete to the tight end, Hireman. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. A shotgun snap for Keenum. And down he goes. Keenum is sacked. D Ford bringing the pressure again, and that is his third sack here tonight. And, partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? 
And now here comes Kansas City. And they had to go the length of the field last time out to get into the end zone. And with this starting field position, they're going to have to pretty much do it again. And I think the thought process going into it is, hey, if you have to be methodical, go ahead and do that. But what you really want are a couple of big plays. Eat up chunks of yardage and cut down the number of times you have to snap the football. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And an alley to run. And space opened up a bit. He's able to take this up past the 10. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. And that run there does nothing but juice up the guys who are moving the football. I mean, if you're an offensive lineman, people running it, actually the guy calling plays, you're almost jumping up and down in jubilation, aren't you? Yeah, now you've got options on second down. And big-time options. You might want to think about play action and try and get something cheap right here over the top. Here we go now. On second down, here's Mahomes. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. Hunt gets it on the draw from Mahomes. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Back to throw. Mahomes, his throw incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. Uh -huh. Now Mahomes. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. So now it's fourth down and short, and whatever they do, run or pass it, they've got to pick up the first here. Yeah, and you mentioned running it. That is still an option, but as you also said, they've got to do it quickly and get back to the line of scrimmage. Here's Dustin Polquitt now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do that. Well, I don't know if he made it out of the end zone. No signal. Yes, it's a safety. Guys, this game's felt a bit weird all along the whole way through, and no better play maybe exemplifies that weirdness than that safety right there. Partner, you've got a tie game and time running out. You've got to be ultra careful down on that end of the field, and this could very well be the play that decides this football game. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. This will be fielded at the 17. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They have the football. They're looking good, but the lead is just two. So any mistake in a field goal can beat you. they got to be careful. And that's where it gets difficult because you don't want that to leak into your thinking. You want to play like, hey, we've got the advantage. We can close this out. Don't play from fear, and they can win this game. See if they can play fear-free and hang on. Here we go. Green, this is Hunt. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Now the Broncos are going to take a timeout. As the clock shows, 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. 
Two-point game. They have the football. Their defense was able to do their job. Now can the offense just hold on here, Charles? And they'd better because after the job the defense did to give them the ball back with this lead, it's time for them to seal the deal and allow them to go to the locker room with a victory. They'll try to seal the deal. Here we go. They run with Hunt, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Third down. That's Hunt. And he's able to get out to the 32 right down there. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. He's been terrific so far. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. And Denver getting set to take the field. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. And got his man complete. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. He got 29 yards that time. And he'll get up and spike it with 11 seconds remaining. And no, they can't connect on the pass. So that gets the clock down to 11. Time for probably two more plays. Got to go quickly, though. This pass rush, they've been excellent all game long, and another example of it right there in the closing moment. Not only with the pass rush, but how well they're coached, because if you don't quite get there, get to the quarterback, get your hands up into the passing lane and knock it away, as we just saw there. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. He's back to throw. And nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. One final shot now. I'm not even sure he can get it to the end zone, though, from this distance. That's going to take as much arm as he has, and you actually have to plan for the contingency. Maybe you're playing a tip, try and get someone down who can tip it up and keep it for your own team and try and get to the end zone that way. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. 
Well, I know at points in this one you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard. You're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Denver, good night, everybody.